Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. And I'm Christine. This is Ninth Island Connection. We are a weekly lifestyle television show about Vegas, right? That's why you see where we are right now. That's why you clicked on this thumb. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. So in this video, if you can't already tell, we are at the Little White Wedding Chapel. Nope, we're not renewing our vows, but we do come here, fun fact, every five years because 15 years ago, we did get married here. So we do come back every five years and do a picture here. But that's not what this video is about. In this video, we're gonna share with you everything that you need to know about planning a wedding here in the wedding capital of the world, Las Vegas. Now, before you click out of this and say, oh, I'm not getting married there. You never know, you might. So many people come here on vacation without the intention of getting married and wind up getting married. And not just celebrities either. We all know about Britney Spears' 24-hour marriage. Next day she was divorced. That was here. That was right here, right? But everyday people come to Vegas and say, you know what, let's get married, and they do it. So we just have to put a big thank you out there to the folks at um, Vegas Weddings, Little White Wedding Chapel, and Viva Las Vegas, because that is where we've got all our information when we did a television episode for our television show, Ninth Island Connection, all about the Las Vegas wedding scene. So thank you guys, and here's that information. Las Vegas is not only the entertainment capital, it's also the wedding capital of the world. With an average of 200 couples per day obtaining marriage licenses at the Marriage License Bureau in downtown Las Vegas, this comes out to 80,000 couples getting married in Vegas annually. Since 1909, over 5 million couples have made Vegas their wedding destination. This is partly due to the draw of celebrities who have been married in Vegas. After all, even we chose the Little White Wedding Chapel for our wedding because Michael Jordan and Britney Spears were married there. And speaking of celebrities getting married in Vegas, here's a fun little trivia for you guys. Which one of the following celebrity couples tied the knot in Las Vegas? The answer is E. Along with Benifer, all of the above celebrities were married right here in Las Vegas, just to name a few. Another reason people get married in Las Vegas is the affordability of a wedding here. From packages starting in the low hundreds on up, you can customize your dream wedding within a budget. Whether it's your dream wedding or your nightmare wedding, as in Nightmare on Elm Street, yes, you can actually get married by Freddy Krueger or really have whatever theme wedding you want. You can get married by Elvis, or you can even be married as Elvis. Vegas, of course, provides the opportunity for as unique of a wedding as you can imagine. Of course, there's the quick 15 minute ceremony so you can get back to your Vegas vacation, along with the popular drive through wedding ceremonies.
this happens to be at the Little White Wedding Chapel. And if you want more than just a quickie ceremony or a drive-through ceremony, you can take a drive out to a destination of your choice, including Valley of Fire, which is just over an hour north of the Strip. Nelson Goatstown, which is a fun destination itself, national landmarks like the Grand Canyon, Lake Las Vegas, and golf courses, just to name a few. Even museums like the Neon and Mob Museum offer wedding packages. You can even get married with the Bellagio Fountains as your backdrop. But just because it's Vegas doesn't mean that you can't have a more traditional, elegant ceremony and reception. While these do take a bit more time and planning, they can be done. The experts at Vegas Weddings recommend planning your wedding at least 30 days out. Now, that's if you're looking to include a reception, but for a ceremony, they can do that in just a day. All you need to do is come in the day before, get fitted, and the next day they're there to pick you up for the ceremony. Of course, you definitely want to plan further out if you're looking for popular dates or sunset. They recommend making reservations six months to a year in advance for those popular dates. So if you're looking to get married on 12-31-23 or 1-2-3-1-2-3, you better get on it. Now, of course, you can always bring your own wedding attire, but it's Vegas, you don't have to. Vegas has wedding planning teams that can take care of tuxes, dresses, hair, makeup, and flowers. They also offer photography and videography. If you wanna live stream this to your friends and family, they can do that as well. So have a stress-free wedding and leave it to the experts. And we cannot forget the casinos. The majority of casino properties on the Strip and downtown, as well as off Strip, have their own chapels and wedding packages. Here's the Golden Nuggets Chapel, where, fun fact, Bruce Willis and Demi Moore were married. Now we've all seen movies and TV shows where people are getting all drunk and married in Vegas. That's just entertainment. Just like when Ross and Rachel did it on Friends or Stu and Jade did it in The Hangover, that really doesn't count. You have to get a marriage license. Now, Clark County makes this so easy. You can start this process online in advance, of course, 
They're open 365 days a year, 8 a.m. to midnight. The Marriage License Bureau is located downtown, so make sure that this is part of your wedding plan or what happens in Vegas will really stay in Vegas. So whether it's just the two of you or you're bringing your entire family and friends along, whether you want something formal and traditional or simple, or if you want to go over the top Vegas, you can do that here too. And this is why Las Vegas is known as the wedding capital of the world. As you see, there is a lot to know about planning a wedding here in Vegas, but the good thing is they have professional people who are able to help you with all of that. So all you really have to do is just show up. That's a wrap on this one, guys. We wanna hear from you. Would you ever consider getting married in Vegas? Did you get married in Vegas like we did? We wanna hear all about it. Share the information in the comments below so that other folks that might be thinking about doing it can hear from you. And again, check out the description so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are, including the special wedding episode that we made about this topic right here. We're on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, as well as broadcast television as well. So again, check that out. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.